In this video, we're going to try and develop a gut instinct on what a graph should look like from this parametric form. So you've got one, two, three, four here. Try to match each one of these with our appropriate graph. So uh, you, you could guess it to be this, this, or well, try and figure this out for yourself. Press pause and have a think about it. Okay. Okay. So um, so re remember when 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 you, when you look at this, this thing here tells you the x location. This thing here tells you the the y location. So when you look at this, when you look at this in your mind, in your mind, picture this in the x direction. It's going to look like this, your sine graph. And then in your mind, draw this graph, y equals minus x. So it looks something like this. So so this thing here tells you the x location. This thing here tells you the y location. So when when you look at this, when when you look at this, when you look at the x location, the x location will either be one or it will be negative one or it will be one or it will be negative one so what this is telling you is that in the x location it's either going to be one negative one one negative one well in in the x location it's just going to oscillate back and forth back and forth um, in the x direction so bear that in mind so when you when you look at this graph when you look at this it's telling you in the x direction, you're just going to oscillate back and forth between one and negative one. So looking at these graph, uh, looking at these graphs, you should look for something that oscillates back and forth um, between negative one and one, negative one and one. In the y direction, well, as time goes on, as time goes on, it's, it's going to get uh, in the negative direction. Well, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction. Um, so y will just get bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction. So, so looking at this, there, there's only one graph from, from up here that describes this thing here because this thing here is oscillating back and forth. Now, as you as you move time from zero to I don't know, let's say nine nine nine, it's uh, it's just going to get larger and larger in the y is just going to get larger and larger um, in the negative direction. So hang on, let's start again. This thing here is just going to oscillate back and forth, but then as time goes on, it's just going to the y will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's just going to do something like this, something along this line. Because look, I'm oscillating back and forth, and then as time goes on, I'm moving in the negative direction. I'm moving in the negative direction. In short, this thing here will will trace out this graph. So this thing here will trace out this graph. I will continue in the next video. Okay.